Right, here we go, we're on the hill for it. We've taken some photos, there's people coming now at a pace. I just want to stand on the end of here. Everybody else seems to get this place. So I've got a feeling this bit here is specifically Roman, but I don't know how true that is. But people are coming. There's the bosom from the other side. That's the bosom. I'll be going down the secret steps, which are over there in a minute. Right over there is a pathway that I use if I'm going to go back to Sanford, passing the quarry and everything. Back there. There's Breen Down. There's Steep Home. You can't see Flat Home from now. And there, of course, is Western Wilbury Hill Fort. Yeah, there's a good view from here. I and I I can pick this hill fort out when I'm in any of those locations. I can pick it out. Straight ahead, of course, further over you've got right over there you've got um Banwell Woods, Banwell Hill Fort. And further over again you've got Hutton. Hutton Woods. Two girls, the two people I saw right over there, they've actually got here quicker. They must have taken a shortcut, I think. Um, now, from here, you can see the valley I'm going to go up down there. I'll be going along that valley in a minute, right down there, and along. That's the way I'm going to be starting to go there very soon now. And there's some. Um, I've got a feeling this is something to do with the Romans. I'm not sure though. Those people will be coming up there any second now. So what I'm going to do is video in that. Right then folks, I'm just going to enter a very steep area, like a terrace, big geological feature. Over there we've got Manscaped by Man, the Robero Warren, Shipham and all that's over here. You go down there to Churchill and Banwell and Hutton and Weston, Crooks Peak and we're on Roebarrow Hill Fort. I'm now going to take you on a little journey. I'll take photos when I get to the stile. There's a stile. I've got to be very careful because it's very steep. Right, so it's all very steep down there, look folks. I'll be down in there in a minute and then I'll be heading up that valley there, straight ahead of us. But first of all, I've got to get onto the secret step. Okay, used by the animals. <sighs> I've videoed this before, by the way, so I just make sure I'm not on zoom. That was a bit zoomy. <sighs> Great geological feature, this is. <sighs> you wouldn't be able to stop yourself if you fell there. We're just going to walk along the top. 
I expect you get some blokes. It's got to be blokes, isn't it? Usually. But to walk across that bit. That's where the goats walk. But you can imagine someone saying, come on, follow me this way. But I'm, this is bad enough what I'm doing up here. And when I get to the style, I'll stop and take some photos of this. This lovely, lovely little walk. This is what I planned today. I only planned all this last night. Like I said, I'm feeling a bit feverish. I feel. I think I've had a tick bite as well on my leg recently. Some people would go across there and keep into the top path. It is slightly wider. Okay. Plus there's some ferns to grab hold of, if necessary. I've actually rolled down a hill, not much, a little less steep than this in the past at Glastonbury. Rolled down it. Apparently it's the best way to go down. It's rolled down like a roly-poly. Not fall down it, roll it. So if you feel yourself going, try and do that. Most people are just bounce and bounce and oh, be horrible. I don't know if anyone's ever fallen. Look at that little plant that is hiding in there. Look at him. This sweet little tiny plant. Actually, I'm quite glad it's turned out cool. Seems I'm not feeling 100%. I, uh, yeah, I'm glad the sun's um, keeping his hat on. There we go, that's the church at Roborough. Still haven't got in it. Always say I'll get in it. You never know, you might do one day. There's an oak tree clinging to the side. Yeah, this top bit's fine, actually. There's nothing to worry about this bit here. We've got to go down some steep steps in a minute. <sighs> Off the edge of the cliff. <sighs> yeah, like I was I'm glad the sun's actually not come out. I have got my hat, though. I haven't taken my jumper off yet because it was quite breezy up there. <sighs> yeah, that's all been landscaped, that bit up there. That used to be really wild, that bit. Somebody bought the pink cottage and they've actually tied it up a lot. I suppose that's good. I'm not quite sure if he likes us walking through. We've always been able to walk through his land in front of the cottage, but I don't think he was very keen. He wasn't very chatty to me um, when I spoke to him last time. He really didn't want to communicate, and I don't. I don't really don't think he wanted anyone walking there. But it's a public right of way, see? It's old rights. He'd have to go to court. I remember that was brand new. That's a way of getting back up onto the hill fort area if you want to do that way. It's a good spot here where people, I've seen people sit in private reflection. Sat here, enjoying this beautiful view here. I don't sit down mainly because of ticks. I think I've already got a couple of bites now. So I'm just going to stop here and take some photos, and then I'll come back on again. Right, back on again. I'll join this one up with the previous one. I'm just walking through this little hedgerow. I, it's not well. I don't know how well known it is. People have probably whoever seen my videos will know about it now. <laughs> my daughter said that to me, so she said, "Mum, you t you tell everywhere, everyone where all these lovely places are." <laughs> 
Then you moan that people are invading them. I know. I do want to share, really, but you know, I do. It's not somewhere you bring a toddler. Well, you could if you want to be responsible for them and hold on to them tight as hell. Some more lovely views from here. Here we go, look. That's a lovely view, isn't it? Hey, eh? So I walked in. I came in right over by those bushes there on the far side. Through the gap there, and then I walked along the top. I walked along the top. Behind that tree there's a path, but I'm sure some people risk going across the middle. I personally wouldn't, but I expect there are people that will. And maybe people fall, I don't know. You might get some people who walk up that bit. You could probably go up like that, for lower down, where it's not quite as steep, and go up like that. Do you see what I mean? That's not so far to fall, is it? Let me take some more pictures. Back on again in a minute. Back on again. Little snippets. What I'm trying to do is take the photos, don't move, and then it comes straight back on where I was walking. Rather than leaving too long a gap. Oh, I actually feel a bit better now, actually. It's weird, that. I actually feel a bit better now. For a minute, it might come back again. Yeah, so I should be going down very soon. I should just be getting over the stile and then going back along the valley. But it's nice to come up to the hill for it and um, enjoy the views, get the fresh air. And hopefully I can do some of the walks there's some walks I haven't been able to do since I didn't have Alberta, uh, where I usually drive out to Pretty. Um, it's not easy to get to Pretty. I'd have to get the bus all the way to Wells and then walk from Wells. Or I can get the bus to West Mendit Way. Uh, not West Mendit Way. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the place. Westbury Sub Mendip and then walk up a massive hill. I can go cross country a bit if I want to and do a circular there. There are ways around it. That's a lovely tree that's sort of coming into some sort of flower in the autumn, like this one here. Don't know what it is. It's got like some nice little berry. Oh, it's berries, yeah. I don't think it's a holly bush. Look really nice. The sun caught the red berries then. Look really pretty. Right, we're still heading down. We're not at the step area yet. I've videoed it all before and videoed coming up it, of course. But there are some people who are only just joining my my video thing, and um, they will they, they like to see the later stuff when you first join, don't you? Right, there's the steps, folks. Down there, I'm going to be going down those steps. That's the first flight. Then you go over, then there's the second flight. Right, I'm going to take some photos. I'm not going to video going down, okay? What I'm going to do is... Just do some footage now and then take the photos when I get down the bottom because it is quite, I might need both hands. Right. Hear that? Can you hear that rook? Raven, I mean, they've got a special call. Here he is. He's a nice big one, he is. Flying around, making a noise. Over and out then. <laughs>